Why I Jed, Why Jai Sinead. This is part two, roundhouses. We're going to do some advanced roundhouses. Uh, the roundhouse, the most common type of roundhouse that is used is your rear roundhouse. That is because it is the strongest roundhouse, but you should know some variations of the roundhouse. Now first, you have the inside leg kick. It can be considered a roundhouse because it's basically the same technique. It's often called the inside leg kick. You have what's just a basic groin kick. It's a kick right up the middle into the groin area, into the groin area of the attacker. Of course, that's highly effective because you're dealing with an area that's highly sensitive. And it doesn't take a lot of practice to know how to execute that type of attack. So you can do an inside leg kick. You have nerves on the inside leg. You hit one of those nerves. You can take somebody down. Also, you can do a roundhouse into the outside of your opponent's leg. Let's say that this person's leg here, and you come down with the roundhouse. You hit either of the outside of the leg, also the inside leg, or just groin kick right up, right up the middle. Whatever you do, you need to keep your guards tough. Um, of course, if you're practicing female self-defense, um, you have to keep your guards tough, go in for your attack, look for your opponent to react, and it's a dynamic effect that just stays in motion. That's number one. Then you have the lead roundhouse. So if I'm in a left lead, my lead roundhouse is a roundhouse that I snatch from my lead leg. Guard up, lead roundhouse. You can shoot it low, middle, and high. This is a lead high roundhouse. All right, snap it in, snap it out. It's not as strong as the rear roundhouse, but it's quicker. So you could use your lead roundhouse to set up other punches. So if I go for a lead roundhouse, I come in, other techniques, other combinations. You come in with elbows, you do a lead roundhouse, come in with a rear roundhouse, and so forth. You also have the switch roundhouse, often called a switch kick. You basically, if I'm in a right lead, Guards up, I switch, and go in for a rear roundhouse. Or you can also switch and go in for a lead roundhouse as well. Again. And um, I'm going to switch, kick, lead roundhouse. I mean, switch, yes, yeah, switch, kick, lead roundhouse. Right, so your uh, switch kick can be very effective in throwing a distraction to your opponent. Another variation is the flying roundhouse. Not used as much, but can be effective in a situation where an opponent is running backwards and they have poor footwork. Um, it can be highly effective if you're jumping towards the opponent, you jump in with a flying roundhouse. Here's an example of it. One more example. That's a flying roundhouse where you would be in motion, you jump in, generate a lot of force, a lot of impact. It would be a bone breaking technique. The other one is where you just simply stand in place, use less common. Alright, and the last one that we'll do is what's called the ground roundhouse. It's a capoeira technique. Be very effective when you're in a situation, you get knocked down, it could look like you're in a defenseless position, you shoot your lead leg up, bring your right house around. So we're going, boom, boom. I get knocked down, it looks defenseless, but you could generate enough force to defend your perpetrator, your attacker off again. One last time. All right, so those are variations. Part two of the roundhouse technique. Aguaja J, Aguaja Sinek.